Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh In the month of Magar, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj is sharing with us about those Sohagans who have united with Vaheguru and telling us what are the qualities of these Gurmukhs. Guru Sahib starts off by saying, Mangar Mahe Sohandiya, Har Pir Sang Pethdiyaha That this Sohagan, the soul brides, those who have a place right next to Paramatma, their beloved husband, they look so beautiful, they look so radiant. These are the Gursikhs who are Pyare, who are beloved to Paramatma. Why? Because these people, these soul brides, the Gurmukhs, they constantly have their mukha towards Paramatma. They don't go anywhere else. They don't bow to anybody else. They only listen to their beloved Guru. And the best example that we can think of is the relationship between Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Pai Mardana Ji. Guru Nanak Dev Ji is Paramatma themselves. And Pai Mardana Ji is the example of that soul bride, that Sohagan, that Gurmukh, who is constantly sitting right next to Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. When we think about Guru Nanak Dev Ji, we automatically think about Pai Mardana Ji as well. And if you think about it, how blessed Pai Mardana Ji is that their whole life, they've had a space, they sit right next to Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they do Kirtan with Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they spend their whole life next to Paramatma themselves. Guru Arjan Dev Ji says that Tin ki soba kya gani je sahib mein ladiyaha That how can we praise these Gurmukhs? Their praises are limitless. Je sahib mein ladiya Especially for those who Paramatma themselves have united themselves with. And Gurbani says as well, Ona di soba jug jug hoi koi na metan hara The soba, the praises of those Gurmukhs who have met who have united with Vaheguruji, everybody remembers them. And Jug Jug Hoi, not just for 10 years, 20 years, but for all Joga, the whole humanity remembers these people. And we think about um, Gurmukhs like Pagat Tru, Pagat Prahladi, and Gurbani constantly speaks about them, even tells their Sakhi of how they became one with Vaheguru, how they became a Sohagan. And we think about it, not just Sikha, but even Hindus and, and other races as well, they sing the praises of Pagatru and Pagat Prahlad. Other faith, the Muslim faith, the Sufi faith, the Sikhs and so on, they sing the praises of Pagat Kabirji and, and so on. Why? Because these Gurmukhs, these Pagats, they have spent their life with their beloved Vaheguruji. And whatever Paramatma says, they do it. They do not question their, their beloved husband. And this is what Gurbani tells us well, as well, that all of us Jeev Atma, we are actually the soul bride to our husband, Vaheguruji. But it is a question whether we become Sohagan or we become Duhagan. Do we become a Kuchajji or do we become a Suchajji? What kind of soul bride do we want to be like? Do we want to be the bride where we look beautiful in the eyes of our husband, where our husband would constantly want us to be with them, to sit right next to them, and where our husband would praise us in front of the whole world? Or do we want to be that kind of bride where our husband do not want us to be with them? They feel ashamed when we sit right next to them and they do not even want to speak about us to humanity. Think about it, Sangaji. The Suhagan, they are being spoken about by the whole world. Their Sakya are being shared by the whole world. But those Duhagan, those who did not please Paramatma, people like, for example, Ravan, Harnakesh, all these people, they have not followed the path of Vaheguruji. They have not followed the path that Paramatma tells 
And what happens? We remember them for all the bad things that they have done. And we tell people, do not be like them. Do not do things that they have done because it will only cause your own destruction. But be like Pagad Tru, Pagad Prahlad, be like Pagad Kabir Ji, be like Pai Mardana Ji, be like Guru Arjan Dev Ji, be like Pai Nandalal Ji. Only then you'll be remembered, but you'll be praised not just by Paramatma, but by the whole humanity as well. Then Guru Arjan Dev Ji says, Tan man maulya ram syo, sang saad sahe ladiyaha. That those sohagan, what qualities do they have? Tan man maulya ram syo. Their mind, their body, maulya, it's always in greenery, which means that they are always flourishing, they are always so radiant, they are always so cheerful, they are happy, they don't get affected by dukkha in their life, they don't get affected by people's comments, you know, whether people tell them off or people um, speak bad about them or gossip about them, they do not get affected by all of this. Even with praises as well, people praise them, they don't get affected. But they are always in the spirit of chardikala. Nanak naam chardikala. Guru Sahib never want us to be in the state of Khardikala, stagnant, or Tandikala, going down. A Guru Sikh is always in the set of Chardikala, always going up, up, up. And Guru Sahib says, Tan Man Molya Ramsyo, that in the remembrance of Paramatma, that Sohagan, that soul bird, is always so radiant, always cheerful, always happy. And in fact, when we see this soul bright, we have that cheerfulness coming in us as well. We also feel at peace, we feel happy. And people might ask us, why? We just don't know. But that energy, that positive energy is radiating from this Suhagan. That is why Sangaji, when we sit in the Sangat of Sadhu Jana, we sit in the Sangat of Santa Brahmgyani Mahapurka, we feel so much at peace. We just want to keep looking at them, look at their radiant face and we even hope in our hearts, we do that bainti, we do that ardaz that I hope they also look at me and they bless me so that I too could walk on the path just like they have. Guru Sahib then tells us about those people who are the duhagan, basically the kuchaji. Guru Sahib says that saad janate bahari se rahana ikke lariyaha. Those who are Without any Sangat of Sadhu, without any Sat Sangat, say Rehana Ikkelariya. These people, they are constantly alone. Now, Sankaji, there is two states here. There is a state of Ikant and the state of Ikalla. Ikant, aloneness, and Ikalla being lonely, loneliness. What is the difference between aloneness and loneliness? Aloneness, the state of ikant, is us wanting to be alone. We can be in a room for five days, ten days, few months, years. We could be alone in that room. But yet, we never feel lonely. We don't feel lonely, we don't feel anxious, we don't feel depressed. Why? Because in the state of ikant, we still know that Guru Mere Sangha Sada Hai Nale. That even though physically I'm alone, but spiritually, Paramatma is with me. My Guru is with me. Gurbani says, Jeh Jeh Pekho, Teh Haju, Dur Kathu Na Jai. That wherever I see, I only see Paramatma. Even though I'm physically alone, Dur Kathu Na Jai, my Guru is always with me, by my side. And so, in the state of Ikant, the Gurmukh, they prefer to be alone from the hustle and bustle of the world because it allows them to meditate, it allows them to, to remember, to connect with Paramatma. But, even though they are in a crowd, they still do not miss out on that, on that sense of Ikant. So, even though they are physically alone or they are in a crowd, from within, they are still in the state of Ikant. They are still connected to Paramatma. On the other hand, being ikalla, like how Gurbani the Pankti here says, Se rehana ikallariyaha. The state of ikalla, loneliness. 
These are those people that even in a crowd of 100 people, thousands of people, they will still feel lonely. They still feel empty from inside. So it makes it worse when you put these people in a room and tell them you have to stay in this room alone for maybe a day, two days, five days. It will be so much worse for, for them. If in a crowd they're feeling lonely, things will become much more worse if they're in a room alone. Because why? For them, they have not understood, they have not realized that Paramatma is always with them, even though they're physically alone. People who go through loneliness, who, fi who feel ikalla, they go through a lot of anxiety, a lot of mental stress, a lot of worry, and they constantly want to be filled up. They constantly want to fill that gap of emptiness with people, with crowd, with fun, with enjoyment. So you will see many times they try to fill up whatever time they have spending outside, you know, going to uh, clubs or just being with people, having so much fun and so on. But from within, they are actually feeling very empty and they want to fill up that void. So how to move from the state of lon loneliness Ikalla to the state of ikant, aloneness, is when Guru Sahib says, understanding and realizing that Guru Mere Sang Sada Hai Nale. That even though I'm alone physically, but my Guru is always with me. So that's how we can fill up that gap. We can then be away, free from that worry, that anxiety of being lonely. Then Guru Sahib says, what is something else these duhagan or kuchaji go through when they don't remember Paramatma. Tena dukhna kabhu utre se jamke vas padiyaha. Their dukha, they are always constantly in pain in dukha, and Guru Sahib says their dukha does not go away. Se jamke vas padiyaha. In fact, they are constantly having that fear of death, and they would go through so much of pain when they are about to near that time of death. They have that news of death around their neck and they'll be dragged by these jamdoods. They'll be suffering so much, not just in this life, but when they are leaving this world to the next world as well. So much of Dukkha. Then Guru Sahib shifts and goes back to those Suhagarn, those Suchaji, who are constantly in remembrance of Vaheguru. And Guru Sahib says, what happens when we do their Sangat? Guru Sahib says, Jini Ravya Prabha Apana Se Disan Nit Khadiyaha. Jini Ravya Prabha Apana. Those who have enjoyed Prabha Paramatma, being in their Sangat, doing what Paramatma tells us to do, Se Disan Nit Khadiyaha. When we see this Suchaji, when we see this Suhagan, they are always so Khadiya, means they are always so happy, they are always so cheerful, they are free of any worry, free of any anxiety. And when we do Dhyā Sangat, we also feel that cheerfulness, that sense of relax and at peace as well. Then Guru Sahib says about this Suhagan, how do they decorate themselves? What kind of jewelries do they wear? Guru Sahib says, Ratana Javehar Lalhara Kanthatina Jadiyaha. What do they wear to decorate themselves? What kind of jewelries they wear? They wear the necklace, the Ratana, the jewel of Naam that was blessed to them by Paramatma, by their Guru. Kantatina Jariya, they have decorated themselves with this jewel of Naam. Because Sangaji, why? Why is Guru Sahib calling Naam a jewel? Gurbani says, Sai Naam Amol, Keem Na Koi Jaan Do. The Naam is so priceless, nobody knows the Mool, nobody knows the price of this jewel, of this Naam. Jinna Paag Matahe, Se Nanak Har Rang Maan Do. But who can enjoy this jewel? Who can wear this jewel of Naam? Jinna Paag Matahe. Jinna De Vadde Paag. Those who are fortunate enough, who are blessed by the Guru, they get the chance to wear this jewel of Naam. 
To have that great fortune, Sangaji, we have to come into the Sharan of Guru, keep on doing Ardas, that Satya Pacha, bless me with your Naam. This Naam, Sangaji, is so important because if we want to become, if we want to have the virtues, have the qualities of Paramatma, we have to remember that same Paramatma. By remembering Paramatma, we start adapting, we start collecting, we start instilling all those qualities of Paramatma inside of us that Guru Gobind Singh tells us in Jab Sahib, that Guru Nadiri tells us in Mool Mantar. That's why we remember Paramatma. Paramatma nu yaad kar de kar de kar de kar de ek din asi Paramatma veche lean ho jana. Towards the end, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj is doing a bainti. Nanak banche tur tin prab sarani dar padiyaha. That they are saying, I want the tur, the dust of the feet of those who come into the sharan of Sadguru Ji. Now Sangha Ji, many, many people nowadays they say that the dust of the feet of the Sangat, the tur, charan tur, all this is manmat. We don't need to do uh, all this, putting the tur on our matha. Many people collect the tur or the sangat and bring back home. People are saying this is manmat, don't do all of this. But here in Gurbani, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj themselves are saying, Nanak baache tur ten prabhasarni dar kariya. That Guru Sahib themselves are asking for the charan tur of those people who go into the sangat, who go into the sharan of Paramatma. If Guru Sahib themselves can say this, then who are we to question Charantur? Who are we to question those people who do Jodhyandi Seva and who collect Charantur? Remember Sangaji, always go back to Itihas when we feel we have doubt on what these people are saying. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, they themselves did Jodhyandi Seva of the Sangat who came from Kabul to meet them. The Sangat from Kabul came all the way to Amritsar to have darshan of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj without knowing how Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj looked like. They just heard about Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj Ustad. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, when they learned that the Sangat all the way from Kabul is coming to meet them, they went out to greet the Sangat. And the Sangat from Kabul, because they were so eager to meet Guru Arjan Dev Ji, they went into the Darbar and they gave the duty of Jodhya and the Seva to one of their own Sangat and said, stay here and take care of all the Jodhya while we go inside and have Darshan of Guru Arjan Dev Ji. When they went into the Darbar, they saw that the Takhat was empty. Guru Sahib was not sitting on the Takhat. And the Sangat went to ask Baba Buddha Ji, Baba Ji, Guru Sahib kithe ne? Where is Guru Sahib Ji? We are here. Oh, the whole Sangat is here to meet them. And as they were looking for Guru Arjan Dev Ji, when they went out, they saw Guru Arjan Dev Ji at the same place where their Jodhya was and Guru Arjan Dev Ji was the same person who was doing the Jodhya and the Seva. And when Baba Ji asked Guru Arjan Dev Ji, Satche Paatsha, Tu si ethe ki ka rahe ya? Tu aadi jagga ta takhati te uppara. Tu si ethe ki ka rahe? And Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj looked at Baba Buddha Ji and said, They said, Baba Ji, dekho, look at this Jodha. Don't you see that this looks like the Jora of Guru Nanak Dev Ji? And Guru Arjan Dev Ji was crying at the same time while they were looking at this, that pair of slippers. And they were doing the seva, they were wiping the Jodi of the Sangat. And they were thinking, they were imagining, they were saying, what if one of this pair of slippers belong to Guru Nanak Dev Ji? That's the kind of Sharda the Sangat have when they're doing Jodi and the Seva. That who knows one of this pair of slippers belongs to one of Gurmukh, one of some Santa or Brahmgyani within the Sangat. And maybe by doing their Seva, by taking that Charantur, my destiny could be changed as well. So Sangaji, don't have questions or doubt on Charantur, collecting Charantur of the Sangat, putting on your Matha, because all of this is mentioned in Gurbani and it's a blessing for us, Sangaji. Gurbani says, hai na, Gur sikha ki har tur de, hum papi pi gat pa hai. Give me the tour of Gur Sikhs so that a papi like me, a sinner like me,
can also be fortunate enough to be saved from this world. Towards the end, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj is saying, Mangar Prab Aradhana Bahorna Janmariya. That in the month of Mangar, remember Paramatma, Simran Karo Paramatma Da. Why? Then we will not be stuck in the cycle of life and death. We will not be suffering the pain of death that Guru Sahib constantly tell us if we don't remember Paramatma. So Sangaji, this is the message of the month of Magar, where Guru Sahib shares with us the qualities of those Suhagan and shares with us the Dukha, the qualities of those Duhagan and Kuchaji and the state of Ikant and Ikalla. Aloneness and loneliness and how we need to think, we need to realize which state we are in right now. So Sangaji, forgive me for any mistakes that I've made. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.